The first station in the Clarence area opened just after the zigzag itself in 1874. When the Dargan's deviation opened in 1897, this first station was replaced by the second, a couple of hundred metres to the west. The second station is the one now used by the Zigzag Railway as their top terminus. With the construction of the 10 tunnels deviation, the 1897 Clarence was replaced with a third station, opening on 16th of October 1910 along with the deviation. This photograph on display at the Zigzag Railway shows this third station, looking towards Lithgow. A new Nunez Junction station for the Walgan Valley Railway to Nunez also opened in 1910 replacing the original from 1906, which was situated on what is now the Clarence Colliery Loop. The Walgan Valley Railway closed in 1932, but Nunes Junction Station remained open until 6th of April 1975. Whilst the platforms remain in place today, the signal cabin was burnt down in the Gosford's Mountain bushfire of 2019. Clarence's name origins are, at the time of production, a bit obscure. The similarly named Clarence Town near Dungog, however, was named as such in 1832 after the Duke of Clarence, who two years earlier had become King William IV of England. So maybe the Blue Mountains Clarence took its name from the King too. Since William IV had been dead for nearly 40 years by 1874 though, and by this point Queen Victoria was on the throne, this origin is unlikely, and is just speculation on my part. Nunes Junction's name origin is more clear-cut. This was named after Sir George Nunes, a London shareholder in the Commonwealth Oil Corporation which the Walgan Valley Railway served. As a side note, I've heard this name pronounced both Nunes, which I've been sticking with throughout the video, and Nunes, and I'm not actually quite sure which one it is. Answers in the comments, if you know, please. The 7SP5 is currently passing through the site of the third Clarence station, the one from 1910. Clarence's population dropped dramatically when the 10 tunnels deviation opened, as it had mostly consisted of the navvies who built it, and most of these moved to Glenbrook when the work was complete. Although the station opened as a fully fledged one, by the 1970s it was little more than a halt and when it finally closed on 21st of September 1974, this also closed a century of rail services to Clarence, although it would only be 14 years until the Zigzag Railway restored it by reopening the second station on 29th of October 1988. Unlike Nunes Junction, the 1910 open Clarence was demolished following closure, leaving very little trace, as you can see. Now, having covered the history of five closed stations in just over three and a half minutes, Here's 7SP5 again. <laughs> 